Hello, today we are going to see how we produce a dial. We are in Cadrance, in La chaux de which belongs to the Parmigiani group, and we are going to see the different steps until we have a final dial, which is a very, very special piece of a watch. It is the face of the watch, in fact. So let's go and discover how we made very beautiful and exclusive dials. Cadrance and Habillage is specialized in the production of high-end dials, and this involves a lot of manual operations. Usually, a dial is made out of brass, but precious metals can also be used, such as gold or silver, for instance. The height of a dial varies between 0.4 mm to about 1.5 mm. In this case, we are going to focus on one special dial, which is the dial of the Parmigiani Tonda 1950 in a cream color. The first step in the fabrication of a dial is to create all the plans and all the procedures for the production. Then the first operation consists in polishing the dial to have a perfect surface which is completely clean and rid of any impurity because actually as the dial is the face of the watch it must be impeccable. Then the micro dial at 6 o'clock is creating with the machine tool. Precision is necessary at every step. That's why the operators will verify constantly the precision of every action. The operator will brush the dials with a special mixture made out of powder of silver, salt and water. This will create a first structure on the surface of the dial. Then the operator will amplify this effect by using cream of tartar, which is a kind of silicon powder, to reinforce the effect and to give also the final color to the dial. So it is ready to be lacquered in order to stabilize the treatments and also to put protection on the whole surface. It is now time to put all the writings on the dial. Using a stamping system, the operator puts ink on a mold before printing the dial afterwards. At this stage, the dial is almost finished. What is missing are the index, and each index has two pins on the back that will go on the dial to firmly maintain them. The operator will mix the metal of the pin with the metal of the dial. This is how it's produced a classical pure dial but of course dials can be much more complicated than that with several colors with several forms and also layers and each of them are a new difficulty for all the operators and during all the process.